on this lovely day, our equinox. It is equal day and night. And so the 5D Ascension energies for any of those of you who are enlightening will bring to you, who knows? I can only know what is brought to me. <laughs> but we're going to just chit chat, 5D mystic, self-help for the spiritual and mindful living and loving. So you know there are no wrong paths and you are not an impatient <laughs> mystic in fact the 5d we know that we're always exactly where we're meant to be but i'm a divine feminine so again with twin flame and flames soulmates and oversoul we don't have surprises that we are unaware of bringing us the rainbow that is because though let me remind you one we are not here we had a couple episodes so i want to make sure you understand and anybody who's new Self-help is for people who do not have the need of the therapist to get their child parts back. In security, it's good therapy. You get your child parts, and that way you get out of the charges that then create projection. Okay, so you learn to identify the adaptive child parts, maladaptive child parts, and or patterns of behaviors. And then with that good therapist, you go on a journey of seeing yourself, soothing yourself, learning how to self-regulate because that's where you feel safe inside your body so you get rid of the Cusco facade which would be all those codependent type behaviors the low self-esteem and dark communicators passive aggressive they don't know that healthy boundaries is a calm and passionate sometimes like basically face-to-face -face conversation which is amazing we'll talk about that one so they uh do gossip basically the ones who don't heal and they continue to have the uh, pseudo-liveness, it's unfortunate, the toxic relationships like Diego staying with his family, okay? And as Patrick Tiahan, great childhood trauma therapist, I say healed and healing as he shares will to heal, grieve, pain. You grieve being unseen, you're, you grieve your childhood, and then if you're ever ready, the forgiveness business. We are in the forgiveness business already, okay? The functional adults, our inner child adults, and that's where 5D mystics are and the 5D person. I use the word 5D because it's Christ consciousness, which you have when you are oneness consciousness, integration of the brain. You don't have to believe in Jesus or any spiritual stuff, but you know how to use your brain with the prefrontal and you want to. So you want to do emotions. The people who don't, this is what you get to meet out there as well. And we will have 3D, 4D. So this is not bad. This is a choice. Like it is to not go and heal your trauma, but talk about it and label people. And we will have noticed the facades. So we're going to put that to side. So this is not what we are. When we deal with this, we're going to have a good time. I'm going to share you some stories. It's not a wrong path. As a divine feminine, I know all about the one divine masculines. And not all of them get their divine feminine online. And they, in fact, don't choose their divine feminine that is the one thing between the two divine feminine will know divine masculine divine masculine will reject so of that twin flame stuff yes it's a real deal and yes there is a interaction of nope i don't want love i choose to continue with my mind so the left mode of the mind has a narrative the right mode brings up the emotions, but the emotions bring up that unfaced fear business. And so masculines, they get to choose to notice themselves in a way that I have seen in my 44 years of life before even being a mystic, my teenager years. Yes, they don't, they don't choose the uh, let me present to you the truth in your face. They, they choose to do Cusco at least again as an adolescent i am happy for the younger generation because they have good therapists talking to them about self-regulation and so learning how to get out of that which is a dysregulated and uh, projection pattern so this is really good so we're going to find different types of adolescents so while my adolescent crew didn't have any of what i know today but i had jesus so for me when this happened i already knew how to do the business of, hold on, so Maria, your lovely host, this is where I begin my journey. I was already done with this because I don't have any 
unfaced fears because my emotions, my mother let me express them. So my child parts, they would come up and I would be able to soothe. I know self-regulation because I have the healthy self-worth stuff. So my one-year-old, three-year-old, okay, so my story begins with I already knew Jesus and I consistently expanded from my experiences versus saying I have a broken heart. So with my BFFF, you all know the story, the teenage boyfriend, one, two, three, four, basically every year of the relationship, we had an incident where we would be presented with, do we want to stay together? (laughs) Cheating happened and I didn't have the opportunity to be, hey, let's do open relationship polyamory. I think that will be better. However, I'm also pretty sure he would have said no. (laughs) And that's because he has in his culture this thing called jealousy, and it's not just cultural because I've seen Americans have this thing too. It's called, uh, you're mine and I don't want to share you. I, I don't have that. I'm not a jealous person. You're not mine. I'm not yours. And yeah, we're independent. And the polyamory community is securely attached. We have a whole different world. You heard about it. Compersion, it's called. That's also though because I don't have this and uh, I don't have this. I don't have a facade and I don't gossip. I tell you to your face, hey, guess what? I have people that I love. They're not just friends. So what's up? Okay, so this is the deal. Again, expansion is really fun. And so my BFFF, I end up going to her after finding out that she was the one who, there's a long story. My regular listeners know about it, so I'm not going to waste too much of your time. Just going to let you know. I waited seven days because I was really upset. (laughs) And when I got there, I said, you know, why did you not tell me the truth? I learned about not gossiping, thanks to you, because we threw someone else under the bus. Well, she did, even though I said, who could it be? <laughs> You're, it's not you, because it was a close friend, as it's not you. The only other friend I have is her. Yeah, it's her. Well, and who did you kiss? Yeah, and she made up a story about who she had kissed. Okay, so this was, <laughs> was my first tarot reading. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to mention that. So I wasn't a mystic at the time. And long story short, Why did I wait seven days? Because any person who has healthy self-worth and knows forgiveness and knows how to handle themselves because of, again, this, uh, will not want to be upset as they're speaking to someone about something important. And that's why no wrong paths, but emotional reactivity and being really, really upset is going to make you say things that are not true, which I did learn, for example, and I don't regret it, though. Because I told the person, only one human being has ever heard words that I was like, ah, I didn't mean it. Now I can't take it back. Do I want to? Well, I would, but I probably won't get the opportunity. Do I regret it? No, I learned. And that's how it works. It's always balancing. So when you know, like the divine feminine, that we're always balancing, it's because you're doing dharma. And that's because you have an open heart. You see, it's really fun to be in the 5D collective. And that's why every ascension energy for me has gotten more loving, not less, and more dharma, not less, and more of the clairs, not less. And for those of you who are, who are still listening and here, I'm not sure about you, but if you're divine feminine and the way I am, then you're going to be a person who's like, yes, <laughs> I'm having a good time. So let's keep chit-chatting. And if you are a person without clairs, but you're still enjoying what the ascension energies are bringing, it's balancing okay so we have this uh, lovely karma energetic board cleared away please again remember the ones who have self-worth because the karma stuff is unconscious business that guru has a lot of different ways he shares it and that's your zero to eight year old so you clear the karma stuff and then you can move into the dharma stuff once you get out of this with a good therapist the facade and you own your higher self. So you have all your child parts like mine, not leading with charges. But when they come up, you know what they are because they're like in the way my teacher said it, uh, they're frozen popsicles. It's true. Whenever my teenager comes up, I know it. Okay. So the ones who instead live karma, you're going to notice who they are because they do things like this, but it's okay. They also do this. So they're not really into the relationship And then when they don't like something you've done, they project their insecurity and they make it out to be them. That's the adaptive child. They self-bridled, unbridled self-expression. I'm right, you're wrong. And then it's uh, basically, how dare you not know how to read my mind? And so blamers, martyrs, superiors, they come together. For us, we're like, yeah, that's 
So whenever I've been addressed by people who are projecting, I have said, this is not something I am happy about, but I won't be able to bring you what you're asking me. So I don't know what you want to do, but that's not going to happen. And that's it. You, you come to meet each other where you can. And so with that, no wrong path. All my friends and I, we have a very clear face-to-face -face conversation. And like candlelights, we illuminate the damage beneath our feet with waves of lights because we illuminate the path so that we can continue to come together since we all come from the heart of the sky. The love force that made all creation possible. This is a stream of consciousness that I love to read every now and then. It does not know good or bad like your brain. Your brain doesn't know good or bad. You use the neuroplastic agent of imagination and the words. That's why the words are important. And when emotions come up, they're not good or bad. They're emotions. So if you use the emotional word, sad, angry, and you don't shame yourself. So I didn't shame Maria for being mad at my BFFF. I said, of course I'm mad. She lied to me. And he, I'm used to it. But she... <laughs> And I forgive. I, I follow Jesus. I just did my confirmation or when it was. She knows this. She knows everything about me. How could she not know that I would forgive her? This was what was going on in my mind. I'm like, how did she not know? <laughs> Circumstances in the, in the night, they marry laughing and handsome and mirror an invasion of reflection of trust. So she didn't lose my trust. In fact, we, we stayed best friends. And that's because she didn't lose my trust. You continue expanding. You've had the chit chat. It's called repairing splinters or ruptures, but it's not a splinter for divine feminine. It's, I'm going to come tell you to your face <laughs> what a deal. Calmly, of course. Okay, so that we can expand. That's why inner child adults, we have a good time. It's fun. And again, we build true relationships. So true love is going to be a conversation and more than just one. It's going to be fun. <laughs> You're laughing all the time, not just sometimes. And that's because we like to learn. So your lovely angelic frequency, that one for sure is on. And so are those lovely light codes. Okay, so we're going to be back with another channeled guidance message. I'm going to leave this one short like it is because I shared with you the gist of some stuff. And if you are curious about this one, the candlelight illuminates damage beneath the feet with wave of lights. There's an episode. I don't remember what date it was, but you can go check it out. Thank you for stopping by. And again, like, share, and subscribe if you are a person who wants to do 5D mystic self-help, mindful, spiritual, living, loving practices once the membership content is out, or you just like to hear about the stories, or you are into doing more. So there's one-to-one -one mentorship. The master class will be a closed number, and there's spiritual retreats that I'm going to be planning in the future. Thank you again. Share with anybody who you do know enjoys expanding. They have completed their journey and they do know about self-worth and forgiveness. And that's because we want to make sure that people use their time well. And when people are not ready for this yet, there's Patrick Tian. He's really awesome for people who want to heal any of the childhood business because that's where you're going to find the most benefit because you're going to relate to people that can support you. And then you can get ready once you are. To do the forgiveness business because again it's really nice when I had the chit chat with my friend all I said was you could have told me I would have been happy had you told me because I thought you knew everything about me I, you, you should you could no you, you do it <laughs> I was afraid it's the only answer people have for you when they don't take ownership and again it's not hard to take ownership of the truth I mean at least it's not for those of us who have a whole three-year-old heart see so when you have a whole three-year-old heart, you're not afraid. I wasn't afraid of telling my friend what I thought. I was never afraid. I still am not afraid, and I'm not afraid when someone presents to me you did the wrong thing. I will say I made some conscious choice. I'm flawed. I'm imperfect. You want to talk, we can talk. You want to yell, I don't do yelling. So you're not talking when you're offline. Yelling means that a person's offline. That's not a conversation which is why a functional adult slash inner child adult, so I'm flawed with integrity. I will not come to you and say, you have to live life my way. You come to me and tell me I have to live life your way, I'm going to look at you and say, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to go now because this is called incompatibility, and I am not going to be joking. So people who don't like that, they tend to think, about self-worth people, yeah, in ways that we're okay with. 
I met them again as an adolescent. I wasn't about to become a less self-empowered person because of people who don't have healthy self-worth projection. Whenever anyone has this stuff going on, yeah, person like me. And I'm not saying it to be a snoot, but I am selective for a reason. And actually, my body serves me well. I have a story for that one. And I don't feel guilty because the one thing I can tell you all is that when you're around people that are like this and like this and they have a facade their entire life and they do this, it gets really boring, like extremely intellectually boring. Emotionally, it's not good or bad because I'm expanding all the time. When you're divine feminine, you haven't closed your heart to anything. That's why this is in the lead and this is in the lead and that's why... When you have mysticism too, you're not impatient. You're like, wow, I'm dealing with impatience. I can never forget that moment. (laughs) So I was dealing with the emotion, not because it was hard. It was because it was in the air and there were themes. So you'll always know what theme is up. And in that moment, the theme was learning how to keep going. And so savoring the, the feeling is what I got to do. It was really fun. We'll be back again with more. So thanks for stopping by.